Efficient Q400, or also known as Bombardier Q400, is my favorite plane on Roblox right now. Like, there is a panoram going on screen right now, and it is just beautiful. And keep in mind, this is CHG. This is, like, amazing level quality, and so is the interior, which we will show later. But yeah, welcome to today's video, where it's actually kind of a little bit of a different intro. I might use this from now on. But yeah, in today's video, we're going to be reviewing Efficient Q400. So let's get right on with today's video. So to start things off like we always do, let's go ahead and take a look at the exterior. Now um, as I'm panning around the exterior, so the nose looks very very nice and there's a little light right here and then the gears also look very nice. Everything is, everything on this plane is detailed, like just so detailed. We've, we reviewed um, Hynotics 2400 not too long ago and I thought that was good but like no uh, hate, um, no hate or anything to the developer of that but this one is just like blowing my socks off literally like this one is so nice and just so clean and it just looks so nice um and surprisingly enough i know we talk about prices um later in the video but the prices of these two this our efficiency 400 and hyanotic 400 are almost the same but we will talk about that more in later in the video but yeah and then we have the engine fan blades right here which is very very nice they're actually spinning right now let me actually go ahead and turn them off uh here we go there, there we go so this is what they look like when they are idle or off, whatever term you would like to use. And they still do look very, very, very nice. I don't know that, why that one's spinning um, still. <laughs> That's weird. And then the tail looks very, very, very nice as well. And then we have um, a little cargo door right here, which also does look very, very, very nice. Everything, again, everything on this plane looks so, so nice. And so do the gears as well. Like, just wow, this thing is so, so nice. But that's basically it for the exterior. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the interior. All right, so now we are on, or we are going to be looking at the interior of this plane. So, right here is actually a little door, and it actually um, opens when you actually click it from the outside, which we will take a look uh, next when we do look at the functionality of this plane um, But yeah, so this is the interior of it right off the bat You'll notice it looks a lot better than Hynotic C400 again. No hate to him This one just looks a lot better and it's a lot newer because it just went on sale like a week ago or so And there's even mood lighting with this one which there wasn't with the other one actually Oh wait, yes, there was from the FOGY, but this one actually has buttons the old-fashioned way um, So we have black Ooh. And then we have yellow Oh, that looks really nice. Blue. <gasps> Ooh, I like that blue. I really like that. And then white, which I think it was on before. Yeah. I think I'm gonna leave it on blue. Not even gonna lie. Because I like blue. If you guys don't if you guys can't tell. <laughs> I like my blue. So we have these little dividers right here, which look very, very, very nice. And then we have some like curtains right here. And then this is actually the cockpit door entrance, which is a little different considering it's actually not even a door. It looks like a curtain. Um, which is interesting, but I don't know what he's basing or that might actually be what it what a cockpit door on a Q400 looks like IRL I've never actually been on one IRL so I cannot say for sure Um, but yeah, so this looks very very nice The only thing that concerns me is there is barely any space to put seats like I can't even fit my avatar and well if you wanted to fit it with these lines, which you can probably delete these lines, but they look really nice. It's just like you'd, able, you'd only be able to do one by one, which I think that might be it, how they do it um, IRL. I, for some reason, I thought they did one by two or something like that, but I guess not because that looks, that is impossible. It doesn't look, it is impossible. Or you might be able to like just move the lines around a little bit to fit with your seats because every seat that every airline has is a bit different in size. And then we have um, some curtains right here, and then we have another cabin right here. And then one thing I actually did forget to um, say is these, look at these overhead bins. They almost look like the runs on the MD-80, almost like identical, but they still look very, very nice. Now one of the complaints I do have about this, like probably the only complaint I do have, is you can't zoom out. Like, 
just look, I'm trying so hard to zoom out. Literally, I cannot. <laughs> of course, you can change it, but um, just date the stock model you do get or the um, stock file you do get. You cannot zoom out to the exterior from the interior at all. And you cannot see, actually, you cannot see that well outside. It's literally black. I mean, if you had really good eyes, you could, but um, I don't know about you guys, but I cannot see anything. Like right there, I can actually see. Um, I can see like the ground and the sky, but that's really it, which sucks, but oh well. And then this looks like an emergency door, actually. I could be wrong, but that looks pretty, pretty sick. And then, so yeah, this cabin is basically identical to the other one. And then right here is basically the end of the plane where you could put like FA seats or something. And then we have two doors right here, which I don't know if they actually work, but they do look very, very nice. So yeah, that's basically it for the interior. Actually, no, wait, I forgot the cockpit. So the cockpit actually looks pretty nice. Not as good as the MD-80 cockpit though. Like you have a little um, overhead panels right here and that's really it. And then you have a little wall, white wall right here. Um, and then of course the the FO point of view actually isn't that, or camera isn't actually that bad. I was expecting it to be worse with how the um, passenger view was. Um, but yeah, that's really it for the interior of this aircraft. Now let's go ahead and look at the functionalities of this aircraft. So moving on to the functionalities. Um, so one of the things I did say, I don't know why that engine is still like turning. That is so weird. It's like not turning off. That's really weird. Um, one of the things that I did say is the door can open. Like as you guys can see, there is actually no door light. If I do go to main, this is main right here. Uh, lights, of course, there's not gonna be any of that. And then engines, these actually don't work, huh? All of the, oh wait, I thought you could click them and then it was individual pages. Oh, I didn't realize they were all right here. Um, but yeah, you guys do realize that, or you do see that there isn't any, um, button for the door actually what you do is it's kind of old-fashioned again you just click right here and then it opens the door which i really like the animation it looks very very nice and then it goes all the way down to the ground oh that's a bit interesting um if efficient is watching this maybe fix that um that's a bit interesting it goes down a little too far and then the nose gear is coming up that's interesting <laughs> I did not expect that. Yeah, looks like when it goes all the way down, it like pushes the nose gear up because of how far down it's going. That's interesting. I did not expect that. Yeah, I mean, that's not going, it's not gonna ruin a flight, but it's just like something realistic wise that your passengers will be able to see. Like, oh, hey, the nose gear is floating off of the ground. That's interesting. And then you can, of course, click it again if I can get my camera, there we go. And then it goes back up, which looks very, very, very nice. Now, the FOGUI, every plane has this, at least I think. Um, so let's start with the light since that's what's on the top. Let me actually turn it to nighttime so that we can see these bad boys better. There we go. Ooh, look at that moon. It looks very, very nice. So we have strobe. This is the strobe. It's the white little flashes on the edge of the wings. Sorry about that. <laughs> Looks like right here is like kind of the dead point of the first officer camera. Oh well. And then we have navigation, which is the green and red dot on either side of the wings. And then landing lights, of course, which is right here. Look very, very, very nice. And then taxi light looks like it's already on. Yeah, it's just, oh, actually some of it was on. So yeah, this is what it looks like. I still do not know why that engine is spinning. I literally have it off. <laughs> it's so weird. And then last but not least, we do have anti-collision, which I think is on the top. Maybe, I could be wrong. Yeah, it's right there, that little thing that just um, kind of flashed. And then moving on from lights, we have flaps, which let me kind of get an, an angle. Oh, that's not good. You can't really see the, can't really go this way with the camera either. That's kind of annoying, but oh well. So that's one, two, three, four. And one cool thing about this FOGY is it actually has logs of everything that you've done. It actually doesn't look like it has logs for um, lights, which is kind of interesting. It only had the for flaps, um, engines, I think, gears, and reverse thrust. That's interesting. So yeah, that's all the flaps. I think I don't think it goes past four. Yeah. And then you can just um, put it back up. And then gears, um, put them up now. Ooh. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, it's going on its side. <laughs> 
like the kind of stick that holds the wheels to the ground on the back um the back gears actually disappears that's not very realistic but again this is roblox so i'm not going to complain because this is roblox this is the lego game this is not going to be x plane 11 or mech shot flight simulator realism realism and yeah that's i really like the animations and how it just like tips over on its belly well that's funny and then yeah it does look like it is logging the gears up and the gears down and then we have our thrust which i didn't actually know this had it I did not know this Q400 had our thrust. Um, what does that look like? Um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not really seeing anything. Let me go in this mode. Um, I'm not really, I could be completely blind, but yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Did I, oh wait. Oh, it's like these little spoiler things that are coming up. Uh, that makes sense. I thought it was like, you know how an A320 like the engine actually comes out or something? I don't know how to describe it, but you guys know what I'm talking about. The A320 and 737 um, reverse thrust. I thought it was gonna be like that, but of course this does not have the engines like an A320, so I was not expecting it. So yeah, that's the R thrust, which are basically like just spoilers, unless there is actually R thrust, which I did probably miss because I am probably blind. <laughs> and then last but not least, we have the engines. Now this is engine one. Oh crap, 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 new. No. Okay, there it is. Ooh, that looked very, very nice. The startup is actually a little quicker than I would um, prefer. Just because it probably takes longer than two seconds for, or five seconds for the engine to be running at full capacity. And then engine two, which this engine does not seem to want to turn off because it's been spinning this entire time I've been recording, <laughs> which has been like 20 minutes. That's just like so weird. And then you can stop all. That's a useful button. Oh! I do not really like that. <laughs> it just immediately stops. There's no like cooldown. Oh, oh, that's buggy, huh? If you click stop all when the um, engine button is still on, then they turn back on. And then I guess if I do this, and then if I do that, then oh, they're still starting. Okay, let me see if I can get both of the engines to stop. Yeah, there's a little, a few bugs with this aircraft that I'm noticing with the stop all button and of course the door um, being too low to the ground that it makes the, um, what is it called? The front gear literally go up in the ground, go up in the air. It's been interesting. It does not look like they are slowing down. Yeah, I don't really like how it immediately stops and it doesn't like just like gradually stop like that's not very realistic. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for the functionality. I already showed there was actually mood lighting in the last scene, but now let's go ahead and talk the prices. So this Q400, like I said in the beginning of the video, was is actually very closely priced, I believe, to Hynotix Q400. I could be wrong, but the price for this or Efficiency Q400 is 15 United States dollars. Now that is actually a very good price. I think he also sold a very few, very few copies for Robux. Like I think it was like 3,000 or something. Um, so yeah, that price is actually really good for everything you get, like just with how detailed this is and all the functionality you do get with this and the interior, of course. I would expect it to be like $20 or something, but no, he priced it at $15, which is a very, very good price and I do like that price. It's not too high and it's also not too low, which I would, I mean anyone would like it to be $1, but he would not make much profit off of that. But yeah, I think that's going to end off today's review on my review of Efficient Q400. But yeah guys, if you did enjoy today's video of my review on Efficient Q400, be sure to leave a like on the video because it shows me that you guys do enjoy the content I'm making and specifically this video and subscribe because we are on the road to 100 subscribers and we are so close we are like four away from the time of recording this so every subscriber counts and I'm going to be dropping some banger 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 new reviews on the channel when we do it 100 subscribers and believe me they are very 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 epic so yeah be sure to be subscribed for that and turn on post notifications so that you never miss out on another future row aviation marketing review I do on the channel and live stream I do on the channel 
because I try to live stream every single day unless I get busy with school, which um, sadly or unfortunately happens a lot now that I am in school a lot more than I usually was. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.